morning everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. See some pieces of metal laying around everywhere. I uh, got some scrap metal for the roof of the greenhouse. I'm putting a one foot overhang because I want to have the walls protected a bit and I'll maybe extend the rafters and frame that in but uh, that's going to go into a um, water collection system but that gives me plenty of uh, splash protection on the back wall keep that from rotting um, it's a lot of scrap pieces and I'm sort of piecing in the, pe the, the scraps like a piece of a puzzle and I'm going to get this roof done today and uh, protect that plywood from further decay and rot here I got the scraps all laid out so I can figure what's what and I'm trying to piece together a roof out of all this there's different colors so I'll probably end up if I have to use the multicolored pieces um, I'll probably end up painting it later then but uh, for the most part it's pretty good roofing metal the uh, there's some holes where the screws were and I'll just silicone steel them but we'll have the roof done today it's a lot of work I'm not really recording because it's just a lot of puzzle pieces but uh, we'll get it done. Well, I'm getting it. Uh, oddly, I'm out of breath. It's so humid. It's really hard to breathe. But I'm going to get it. It's not very clean. But the rain will take care of that with time. But uh, I don't think it'll look too bad when it's done. And I get the kinks out of it and get it screwed down. I'm only putting one or two screws per piece until I get it on there. And then I need to get a better ladder than this. This is a dangerous, rickety, old ladder. Probably older than I am. And uh, it's just not safe getting up there. So eventually I'll get up there and do it right. But I think I'm going to get it. I've got, um, there's a, a bit of a longer, a lot of these have been cut short widthwise or lengthwise. But I think with uh, uh, this one and that one, I'm going to pr be pretty much finished on there. I'm going to have all red, and that is good. That's what I really like to see. Oh, it's been up a bit, but I'm getting it. It's going to look all right when I'm done. I think it'll be all right. And then if there's a hole over here, I didn't know what to do. I'm going to lift that up and slide a piece underneath, and it'll be fine. It'll be good. No problems. This is going to be solid. My only problem is I can't get up there very well. I tried climbing on the roof, and my shoes are not gripping. Not safe. So I gotta get some different shoes or something for walking on that rough. That is slippery. Eventually I want to put solar panels up there facing to the sun. We get pretty good sun here. And then I can run a solar aquaponic system here.
Well, there you go, guys. Now, you still gotta get up there and tack down the top. Otherwise, it's gonna look good like this side. It's just here, I haven't tacked it down yet. Oh, well, it took a little longer than I expected because of the uh, roughness of the, and the shapes and sizes of the metal. I didn't think I'd get it done with one color. And there it is. There it is, greenhouse roof is on. Not gonna rot now. Hey guys, I'm filtering gravel, heat gravel, for the greenhouse aquaponics lab that I'm about to build. I need pea gravel for the planting uh, to put the plants in. And I gotta dig this hole anyway, so I figured, do a double duty here, filter the sand as I go, That's tedious work. And the big, big rocks I put down below for rock polishing or for gardening, borders and trim or whatever. We'll take the pretty ones and polish them for sale. And the pea gravel will be used for aquaponics. Up and down, up and down, up and down. But it's better on my back to take breaks because my back still hurts. There's a bigger one. He goes down in the pile. And then it filtered up. The sand is a little wet, so it's not as easy going as it could be. A couple little too big. Oh, there's a beautiful. I think that's a Petoskey stone. I found a Petoskey in my own yard. Look at that. So, that's cool. We'll polish that up one day. Sort of multitasking here by getting my gravel as well. I'm digging the uh, greenhouse out. Just a surprising amount of gravel and a little bit of uh, sand you can filter out of this. And then I'll wash it. But you know, the cost of pea gravel is outrageous for aquaponics. So I'm saving a lot of money. You know, and I've got to dig the hole anyway. One more scoop and I'll have this part here, uh, this wheelbarrow filled. That's it for that wheelbarrow load. And then I held it off and I've got clean sand. Michelle, when she's old enough, is going to have perfect sand for playing. And then I haul the wheelbarrow off, dump that, come back for more. I gotta keep this going until I get this wheelbarrow full, which will give me enough P 
pea gravel to do one grow bed. Washing the gravel. I was hoping to get all the organic stuff out easier, but it's really not as easy as I thought it would be. There's a lot of it. I guess it'll just add nutrients to the plant roots. As long as it doesn't get into the system, it cause me trouble. Now I've got to run the system for a while once I get this all together and clean that uh, water out. There's going to be some dirt once I get it started. I'll take that in and pour it into the container which I've prepared, which I'll show you in a minute. The greenhouse is the most healthy place in our prop entire property. I've got here a the beginning of a grow bed. I need a lot more gravel. And the I forgot the name of that. It's a siphon. Um, uh, I forgot what kind of siphon that is. But it's a type of a siphon. And when the water hits a certain point in the level of the tube, it starts a siphon action and it's going to flush back down into the aquarium. Now I have to set up my water pump and my battery and then get this set up and then uh, I have to finish filling that up but for now I want to get the um, I'm gonna have a coffee break and then I want to get the water up to where I think I'm gonna have it well I'm gonna have to level off the water in the aquarium with the water in here to where when that flushes out it's to the top of that and uh, get the siphon going and experiment with the water pump and get this started. Then I'm going to have to let it run and filter for a while till all the sand and, and uh, sediment falls down to the bottom of the container. And let it run until the water's clear in here and then we'll be able to bring some fish in eventually. Well it's coffee time now. That was a lot of work right there but it's free gravel. Gonna make walkways in here so I can finally get around better without tripping on stuff or uh, without stepping on plants. Alright, I got a 10 inch walkway here which is quite comfortable. I can stand here comfortably and I can fit my feet this way and I can work in the weeding on both sides here with no problem. So uh, I like it. I can also put a pot there and I'm working on a walkway on this side. Um, six inch but I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that and I'm going to put a cross piece here and one over here that way I can walk down into there I can walk around and I can get into there I can reach anything from anywhere but I'm not quite sure about how I feel about that board yet so I'm still trying to experiment Melanie called us to dinner so I've got to go and I'll figure this out hopefully yet tonight we'll see how it goes with the daylight Look what Melanie did. She made a little fire and she cooked her meat over the fire on a grill. 
It could be because we watched a little bit of Survivor on TV, on streaming internet. Uh, might have got her going a little bit on there. But uh, she's been inspired. And uh, cooking over the fire. Looks really good, too. Can't really get a good view of it. The smoke is blocking out the camera. And everywhere I turn, of course, the smoke follows me. That's typical. But uh, dinner is ready. So I've got the one I did here, 10 inches wide. And I got one here, all the way across. I decided to go all the way. The mint will be fine. And this one's a raised platform because over here, all I had was an inch and a half wide space to nail that board to. So it was going to wobble. So I figured if I make this a raised walkway, that's going to help stabilize that board and uh, lock it in better. So I did the same over here. So now I can literally access everything with ease now and comfort. So that's so much better now. Over here we're working on the camper. I got some uh, roof patch. Um, I'm, I'm not liking how it goes on. It's ugly how it goes on. It looks just like house paint. Like white, white wall paint. It's supposed to be uh, patching roof leaks and, and uh, I mean it paints on and it seals the gaps and cracks. And I guess we're going to find out. Um, sealing up the roof of the camper. Now it's raised up but we had it down and uh, we're painting it up to seal all the little pinholes and the leaks in it. Um, well, we got to do a little bit more tomorrow and use up the rest of that gallon and hopefully we'll have ourselves a nice camper well, I got half lawn mode with the old self-propelled push mower I haven't pulled out the other one yet because I don't have enough gas anyway for it but uh... it's been a long 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 day